good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. My name is Daniel Sanchez Pinol. I'm an economist at the Texas Public Policy Foundation. My position is neutral on the bill. Thank you for the opportunity to address the committee today. Even though uh, SB 30 allocates most of its appropriation towards disaster relief and healthcare expansion, however, at least 40% of the supplemental appropriation from the general revenue funds will benefit only certain groups in society, specifically around 2 million beneficiaries from the teacher retirement system of Texas and, empl and employees retirement systems of Texas. Uh, we believe that any additional compensation or resources should come from those retirement, retirement systems themselves and not at the taxpayer's expense. It's, instead, we think that fiscal benefits should be the broad, broadest as possible. The record balances in the general fund come through the taxpayer's effort under a high inflation environment, rising interest rates, and stagnant real income. So lawmakers should find ways to return those resources to Texans. For instance, in contrast to the mentioned 2 million beneficiaries from the public sectors, there are more than 10 million uh, households in Texas that can benefit from a higher property tax relief package in the form of tax compression. Finally, these resources should be allocated, should be allocated to investment and non-consumption. If, if we allocate these uh, uh, more resources towards investments, it will create more growth. For example, uh, a property tax reform uh, can result in an increase of 1% GDP growth and more than 180,000 new jobs for Texans. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to answering any questions that you may have.